Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Legacy. Merry Christmas! <laughs> it's November 2nd. I took down all my Halloween decorations yesterday and I was like, you know what? Let's just put up Christmas decorations, why not? I know that some of you guys are gonna judge me for it, but I, I just don't care, you know? I feel like time goes by so fast now that I don't think a month is enough, you know? I want to enjoy them for as long as possible and uh, two months now feels like one month so i just put them up early because why not you know why not i also did that for halloween i think i started decorating at the end of september yeah i did and i felt like that was a good amount of time like i start i started getting sick of them on like the 29th of october so <laughs> so yeah i haven't put up my like full-size tree yet i'm gonna wait a little bit for that my mom gave me her collection of barbie ornaments that she has been collecting for years and i'm going to do like a little pencil tree by my front door and i'm gonna make it a barbie tree i want to try and make a tiktok of it so keep your eyes out for that soon i'm super excited and then we're gonna have our main tree in the living room and i have like no ornaments so i need to start you know buying them traveling places and buying them and just collecting ornaments making ornaments i'm super excited i love this time of year <laughs> i absolutely love it but anyway i'm so excited to film legacy today we're going to be doing some wedding stuff in this episode I have missed filming this. I've been putting all of my energy into my life and death rags to riches, but I do not want to leave legacy in the dust. So we're doing that today. I'm so excited. I've got the new Red Bull today. This is uh, their winter edition, iced vanilla berry. I've got the sugar-free version. They make both, which I think is pretty cool. It's good. I really like it. <laughs> one, of, one of my friends says it tasted like shampoo, but yeah, I don't really get that. I really like it. <laughs> I'm not uh, usually a huge fan of berry flavors, but the vanilla, yeah, it gives a little something something that I really like. So cheers guys, thanks for being with me here today. Let's get into it. Okay, so uh, I made the guest house into this little like rehearsal, no, engagement dinner area. I wanted to kind of want to like make it a little bit dimmer in here. Actually, no, it kind of takes away, hold on. Let's turn it to yellow and then dim it. I just wanted it to be like pretty cozy in here. Uh, it is fall. We could probably put like a fireplace in here, but let me show you guys what I did in tab mode. So yeah, um, we're having our engagement dinner here on our lot. I wanted a big table. I can't remember how many people I invited, but yeah, this is what we've got going on. And then over on this wall, we have like some pictures of them. And then um, we got a bar. I think that's a chocolate fountain, a gravy fountain. I'm not really sure. <laughs> and then a food table. And then I want to hire like a violinist and we got some champagne over there as well. So that should be really cute and fun. When is it? It is, oh wow, it's in, what? Hold on, really? Oh yeah, I guess so. I don't know why I thought it was like today or tomorrow, but we got a couple of days until it starts. So I'm gonna lock this so no one can come in. Jewelry tracker. Okay, the jewelry from the Crystal Creations pack has been has been messing my game up. I keep getting um like exceptions, like errors from it, and it's really unfortunate. Yay! Arrow says finish his school project. Okay, I'm gonna put this in his room real quick. Okay, so yeah. We've got Marielle. This is our fiance. We got Sarah over here, of course. We got, what is that? Take the picture, posing. Why is it taking so long? I don't know, maybe because you guys refused to I was taking pictures for the, the room and I was getting just like so many errors. It's so annoying. But anyway, Janelle, who is Marielle's daughter. We're gonna be aging her up in this episode. And then of course, Eros and then Dolly's ghost. I don't know why she's so uncomfortable, but uh, I'm happy to have her back, even if it's in ghost form. Um, okay, so yeah, I was focusing on doing her skills before we aged her up. She is probably gonna max thinking, and then movement, I'm not really sure, but I don't know why she's leaving her room, because we got this, yeah, we got the plumbite gemstone in here still. So I'm gonna get her back in here. I got a mind to like lock the door, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna be that cruel. So yeah, just uh, keep playing Sim Shape. Let's get that thinking skill up, my dear. Oh, whoa. I think that, ew, yeah, I changed the lights in that room. 
Hold on a minute. And it made them all yellow and it dimmed them all as well. Okay, that's better. Okay, she's working on her thinking skill. Eros, whoa! My guy, what is the, what is, whoa, 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 what is wrong with your needs? Holy crap. Okay, he's off to nap, but he's got to pee first. Yikes. Is your plum bite like not charged or something? It's not. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Let me put this fully charged one in your room. Okay, and then we gave Ren the nectar making aspiration. Yeah, we have all this new stuff from the life and death expansion pack all the bucket list stuff. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing like that stuff more in depth, make sure to go watch my Life and Death Rags to Riches. Um, I probably won't be like explaining much of that in detail in this Let's Play. We will use aspects of it, of course, but I'm not gonna like, you know, go over it too much here. But basically with the, you have this soul's journey now, every Sim has it. Yeah, it's, it's a bucket list and you can develop goals like over time or you can set your goals on the computer depending on what you want to do it's like it's like a life to-do list that's exactly what a bucket list is isn't it anyways okay i don't know who that is but congrats girl where do you think you're going okay sarah and marielle are both sleeping away oh look eloise is here hello my dear thanks for coming to visit oh my god someone made a saddle mm, okay i'm gonna put this in the fridge so that it doesn't go bad because that looked delicious let's get ren to teach janelle numbers i don't know if it'll go up faster that way but did you dude what have you been doing are you good okay let's get you to take a quick shower and then go to bed i told you to go to bed so long ago i don't know what happened there okay adorable i love this <laughs> i really don't like ren's career outfit but it's all good oh neeb Okay, Janelle's on her tablet doing her thinking. I'm having Ren make more... Ooh, more nectar. Right, I totally forgot we were trying to find an angelfish for the horse horse bro. I should probably look up where the best place to fish for that is. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's Solani. Oh, Sarah's up. Why are you sad? Oh, who died? Someone died in the last episode, I can't remember. It's been, a oh, Natalie. Poor baby. So yeah, all of this funeral and will stuff is really gonna come in handy in this let's play. I'm actually super excited about that aspect. Why don't you like come relax out here? I don't know, maybe that'll make you feel better. Well, probably not, it's like freezing out. School for Arrow starts in an hour. He, yeah, he just needs to, he should probably get up and eat something. Arrow has a loose tooth. Ooh, how exciting. And then for his aspiration, we just need to reach level five mental skill and sleep in a tree house for six hours. Oh shoot, we probably should have slept in there last night. Sleeping in a tree house just reminds me of hereditary. I, I literally can't think of anything else. Okay, I'm gonna have her call the sadness hotline. We could always uh, take a potion, but we might as well just do that while we're laying here. And then Marielle, um, she's a pretty creative person. We've been painting, we've been cross stitching with her. She's level five painting and level three cross stitching. She's a stay at home mom currently. I love it. Sarah, we're gonna take PTO. Oh, she's super happy now. It's all oh, good, I'm glad. I mean, she still has the mood lit, but she's like, she's happy. Thank goodness. And for her skills, uh, were we working on anything? A logic and parenting, right, right. We need to, we probably need to max parenting for this aspiration. Girl, did you, did you max thinking it? Oh my gosh, she's almost there, but she keeps walking around. All right, Eros, you have a good day of school today. Ooh, this festival is going on right now. I kind of want to take Sarah. I think that could be cool. I haven't been able to get a tarot card reading in the, in my let's play yet because we keep working, but let's, let's go with Sarah. I'm actually really, really curious. So little uh, life update with me. I actually went to urgent care the other day because um, I've been having some pretty gnarly chest pains and I felt like it was something really serious. So I was kind of like having panic attacks over it. I've been also very anxious lately and I think that my anxiety is causing the chest pains. But then when I got the chest pains, I started having more anxiety because I thought it was something serious. It's a vicious cycle, y'all. 
well. Some of y'all know exactly what I mean, but yeah, I ended up going to urgent care and uh, they checked out my heart, checked out my lungs. I had a chest x-ray and everything was fine. Like I'm fine. And uh, that's like giving me some relief, but my doctor does think that I'm anemic. I think I mentioned this before. You guys remember when I passed out <laughs> in Colorado and I had all those tests done? Uh, I did have my blood work done and my red blood cell count was low. I thought my doctor was going to bring that up, but she never did. So we'll see if this doctor says anything. Um, I got my blood take drawn again a few days ago. So we'll see what this doctor says. Um, I'm not really sure, but it would make a lot of sense. So we'll see. My chest still hurts and I'm still very anxious, but that anxiety about it being like something more serious has gone away. And yeah, I just, I don't know. There's just, uh, there's something going on with me and I've been trying to figure it out for a while now. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I need meds or what, but yeah, I'm just taking the steps to figure it out right now. Okay, so um, yeah, this is one of the areas that's in the new pack. There's three different neighborhoods and they all have a very different vibe, which I appreciate. But yeah, this is the girl from the trailer. I'm pretty sure she's the one that gives tarot readings and I couldn't figure out how to get one. But let's introduce ourselves. Like you can't click on the tent. The signs are not interactable. Yeah, I don't really know. So she's macabre and a music lover. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to get the, the reading. Oh, receive a reading. Okay, it's under the friendly category. This is the Grim turn. This is one of the Sims that is employed by by Grim the by Grim. Excuse me. What the heck? Where's the cards? Oh, what? The High Spellcaster. The veil is thinned, giving you the opportunity to access knowledge deep within your soul. Let the High Spellcaster guide you. Trust in this divine energy to take you to new heights. Searching for truth or writing is desired. What does that mean? Not the selfie after our reading. I really want to know what this means. Strange confidence from euphoric presence. She would be paranoid here. Yeah, I don't really understand that tarot reading, but okay. Okay, well, I wanted to just get a tarot reading. I don't want to spend too much time here, so let's go home. I wonder if the readings like actually have anything to do with The Sims life. Like if we did get the death card or the one, whatever card like predicts an early death, if that's actually like gonna happen. How does it work? Is it tied into the gameplay or is it like just for funsies? So many questions, guys. So little time. All right. Well, what do we have to do for our aspiration again? Help a child with schoolwork. Have a child with a character value within range to receive a trait. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to have her go pee and then um, we can work on our logic skill a little more. Who is calling my real? Yes. Uh, sure. Go ahead. What's wrong with you? What? I can't from losing confidence. What if Eris becomes a failure? What if everyone thinks he already is? Oh, honey, that's actually really sad. Oh my God, all of our, whoa, I didn't do that, guys. All of our, all of our death, I mean, quill, what the heck? All of our quill fruit plants are gone and our death flower plants. What happened? I know that we probably have some in our inventory. Yeah, we do. Oh, no, that's a dragon fruit right here. We should plant some more. I don't know. That must have been a glitch. They were all dying. Like, that was no mystery. I don't remember clearing out the plants. It's weird. Okay, we're getting this pop-up uh, that I got in my rag stretches for life and death. So I guess everybody gets this. Hello from the other side. You don't know me, so this might sound weird, but you're going to inherit from me, kid. Why, you might ask? Let's just say it's better for both of us if you don't ask questions. This money needs to go somewhere and quick, and I heard through the grapevine that you're a good upstanding sim. So you're about to inherit a chunk of my hard-earned simoleons. I don't know why hard-earned is in quotes. It's a little sus, but yeah. Listen, buddy, part of life is planning for your death. You should write up a will when you're ready to choose who's going to inherit your simoleons, your heirlooms, and your kids. I did mine on the computer, but you can call an inheritance lawyer to, lawyer to help you write one too if you want. Just make good, good, good just make good choices. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, I got four thousand in the last one. It looks like it's the same. So uh, let's go ahead and plant some death flowers as well. Everyone knows that we need those. Although we haven't had a death in quite some time. Oh, speak of the death. 
Sorry for your loss on the phone, sir. Can select business and take family. Wait, what? Who died? Was it family? Uh, Teddy. Our mom died. Holy heck. That's pretty brutal. I would say that that's probably something we should have a funeral for. Eros is sitting with his class in assembly when the music teacher asks for a volunteer. Send the other kid. He's not feeling very confident today. Oof. That's really, really sad. But yeah, we should probably have a funeral for her. It's her mom for crying out loud. I don't know how to do that though. Is that something that we do on the calendar? At a funeral event, it is. Oh my God. No way, you can hire a mourner? <gasps> wow, that's insane. Someone who can just like come to the funeral and cry. That's insanity, bro. Okay, <sighs> all right, let's do polish dress code black mourn. Give eulogy, use ghost mastery for evil. Oh my God, moment of silence, light candles. This is probably gonna be very bugged. Um, let's go to the new lot in Ravenwood Cemetery. We'll have it at 5 p.m. Okay, wow. Yeah, I did not expect to have a funeral today, but here we are. Aw, Iris wants to invite Samantha over. Yes, absolutely, dude. Cutie pies, their first hangout. I didn't invite Marielle or Janelle. Uh, I just invited family because we only had eight slots. All right, here we go. I'm so nervous, guys. <laughs> the last time I tried to have a funeral, it was like... Uh, DIY funeral. Uh, someone got into the coffin and and took a nap. So we'll see how this one goes. I really hope that it works out and they're worth having in the future. It's just nice because like usually when a sim dies, it's just like, oh shoot, they're dead. And that's it. You gotta just move on with your life. It's not realistic. Okay, here we are. Lead funeral activities. Oh wow, look at everyone's outfits. Mourn deceased. Oh my God, not Teddy's ghost being here. Give eulogy and light candles. Wow, where did you get, what are these outfits? What the heck? Not the Halloween tights. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's do this thing. This is the uh, graveyard that the pack came with. Um, so yeah, I think I haven't done a funeral yet. So assign Sim to Memorial Portrait, Teddy. Oh, that's a nice picture. Update frame and flowers. <gasps> Whoa, that's cool. Place flower spray tribute, place funerary drape tribute. I don't know what that means, but let's see. Recipe, you can, what, open? Oh my God, Um, what does that do? Oh, you can put items in the casket with the body? Oh, wow. Okay, that's that's very interesting. This is really sad. That's definitely a new crying animation. Weep? Oh my god. Okay, you can light a candle through this menu. Pretend to wail? Oh my god. What does that look like? Oh, honey. Oh my. All right, what can we do in this podium? Eulogize mournfully? I don't think she would give a lighthearted eulogy. I really don't. Are people listening? Holy crap! I cannot believe it. This is actually really sad. Moment of silence as well. I can't believe everyone is sitting and standing respectfully right now. Like what is even happening? Why can't weddings be like this? She's like, nice, I nailed that. You're good, girl. Let's do this moment of silence. Oh my God, people have their heads. <gasps> what? Dude. Um, excuse me. Wow, everyone did it. This is insane. Reminisce about deceased. We can also talk to Teddy's memorial display and remove and remove it.
What is Ren doing? Oh my god, she's Eula <laughs> she's doing a lighthearted one. Oh Ren. I don't know where she's buried. I don't know where her urn is, but yeah, I cannot believe that the, like this is actually working. It's working perfectly. Cathartic. The tears, while rooted in sorrow, seem to have washed away some of the heaviness burdening her heart, allowing Sarah to experience an unexpected sense of catharsis. Let's see what the poor one out one does. Come on, poor one out for your ma. I really wish she wasn't wearing those tights. It'd be a really cute outfit otherwise. What? You can't do it? Why not? Not the flask. Oh my god. That's actually so funny. Oh, Mari. Oh no. This is her sister, you guys. I didn't know multiple sims would be giving eulogies. This guy's really like killing the vibe though. Oh, ask to start playing music. Okay, I'll do it after her eulogy. That was beautiful. Oh, we got another eulogy. Wow. This is, uh, this is Mari's son. What's this one? Another one touched from attending a funeral. Sarah was deeply moved by the beautiful tribute for her loved one. Each heartfelt word spoken in the eulogy felt like a tender embrace from the one Sarah has lost. Can you play music now or can you not because you don't have an instrument? Like what's going on? All right, well, it's almost over, but I would say that was pretty successful. Bronze medal earned. I mean, not bad. Well, that was that, it's over. Hmm, that was actually pretty good, guys. I'm so surprised. I really am pleasantly surprised. Rest in peace, Teddy. What is that? Whether it be divorce, loss of a job, or losing a loved one, grief is a normal, albeit, albeit tough, part of life that every sim has to navigate. Sarah has been feeling more fired up during this difficult time. With the anger grief type, Sarah might have some pretty epic angry outbursts. Feel angry emotions more frequently, and unfortunately, she might lash out at others. Expect a lot more mean interactions and simmering tempers from her. More information on this grief type. And grief coping can be found in the trade section of the Symology panel. Oh my god. So we went from a midlife crisis to her having her having this like anger thing that she has to deal with. Attending grief counseling, working out those frustrations in the gym, uh, playing instruments. Okay. All right. Well, fair enough. Eros is exhausted, so let's get him to bed. Ren, you're feeling inspired. Really? Okay, well, let's make some nectar then. She's watching sports just now. That's odd. And then Mario's in a pretty good mood. So why don't we uh, paint some more? And Janelle, how is your thinking skill? Oh my God, she's at, oh, she maxed it. Okay, I was gonna say she's at like 99.9. .9. <laughs> All right, so we've got movement left. Her birthday is today. So I don't know, we might be able to get it up a little bit, but I don't think we're gonna be able to max it. That's okay. Wow, Ren went to sleep too. Oh, she's sleeping in the tree house. What the heck? Are you tired? You are. Okay, why don't we just do some like dark meditation? Let's do that and then let's make a cake. Look at Dolly, even her ghost form, even in her ghost form, she's still the same. Okay, and today is Harvest Fest. We just have back to back freaking events, don't we? Funeral, Janelle's birthday, Harvest Fest, and then tomorrow is the engagement dinner. Holy moly. Oh no, oh no, okay. Sarah's pissed. I, we still need an angry painting. So that's actually really nice, Marielle. It is a very nice painting. Angry painting. Let's get that get that out of the way. Oh dang it. She's inspired though. Well, I guess it technically counts because it's still an angry painting. All right. Marielle, why are you scared? What am I doing out here from being in a thunderstorm? Afraid of the dark. A nay from beyond. Oh my god, she's okay. Not the gnomes. All right, let's age up Janelle. I'm so 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 excited to see your child form. What is stinking out here? Ew, someone fertilized this bush? That's disgusting. Who? I didn't even know any sim could get get to that bush. It must have been a ghost. That's gross. Oh, let me see this angry painting. Oh, she didn't even finish it. Come on. All right, here we go. <laughs> They're both terrified, but we're getting it done. 
Happy birthday, babe. Happy, happy birthday from Applebee's to you. What the? Was that a knife? Why did I just... I don't have extreme violence installed. I never have. I don't know what that was. It's kind of scary, though. Happy birthday, honey. Okay. But shoot, I completely forgot Marielle's traits. I'm gonna have to randomize something and then we'll f figure out her, her real trait in a second. But okay. Creativity. Sure. Whatever. Vegetarian. Whatever. Okay. Pause. Hold on. Don't look. Okay. So Marielle's traits are neat, outgoing, and vegetarian. Oh, and she got vegetarian when I randomized it. Perhaps we'll keep that because that makes sense. She would inherit a trait from her mom. And I think that the next time she ages up, we can put Sarah's traits into the thingy and Marielle's traits because like living with Sarah, she'll probably inherit some of Sarah's qualities as well. So that works for me. But let me uh, let me randomize an aspiration for her. Social butterfly. Okay. Hot headed. Oh God. Good thing we didn't use this for her trait. Okay, let's go into cast and have a look at her and give her her aspiration and all that jazz. I love that you can make a human sim and a cult in cast now too. That's so handy. All right. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Social butterfly. I don't know why you got blue brows, but let's address that in just a moment. Okay, so when she was a toddler, she had that like updo and a clip. We can probably just give her whatever now though. Doesn't really have to be the same hair, does it? <gasps> this one with the, the bows. Oh, that's cute. I don't think I've ever used this hair. I think it might be new. Let's see what else we have. What's another hair that I've never used before? Wow, that looks good on her too. I never looked at the child hairs from the new pack. I just realized I didn't look at any of the, the kids stuff. It looks like all the hairs are the same though. We could go like super girly, like something like that. We could go like tomboy style with the shorter hair. Oh, I just don't know. This hair has like no dimension whatsoever. <laughs> Should probably take this out. Okay, let's do this one. And then let's find the bows that go with it. Uh, I thought she looks really cute in pink, to be honest. She had a lot of pink clothes when she was a, a toddler. We barely saw them, but the pink's really cute. Aww. Okay, that's adorable. Okay, we could do like a dress. We could do... This is for her everyday outfit. That's interesting. Are these pajamas? Is this just like a lounge set? I can't really tell. That's cute though. Maybe we can do that for um, her sleepwear. Ooh, that's pretty cute. Oh, decisions, decisions. Okay, that's cute too with like see Aww, so cute i love this outfit it's adorable maybe she's a vegetarian because her mom is making her be you know what i mean okay and for formal wear oh we got a couple things from life and death a couple new dresses got that one this one and this one this definitely looks like an old old timey nightgown that like a ghost would wear or something i don't know if i like any of those for her maybe this one uh, another pink and denim vibe but it's just too cute on her yeah we'll give her some pink cowboy boots as well okay and then active wear i wanted to give her uh, oh no that was for sleepwear never mind um okay active wear yeah let's give you this oh that's cute it has a little star on it i love that for bottoms okay let's give you those actually no i don't like those they're too bright what about some striped shorts or even plain okay this girl really likes pink i like it she's a little pinky girl all right sleepwear uh full body it was this party wear whoa no okay this skirt from horse ranch is actually really adorable mm. But finding the right top for it, I think is going to be kind of difficult. It falls on a, in a really weird spot. A sweater. Okay, that's cute. Okay, let's give her these Mary Janes with it. Oh, that, ha that has a very interesting back, doesn't it? Okay, sure. Swimwear. Let's do this one. Hot weather. This Stranger Things outfit's kind of cute. Uh, I mean, Strangerville. <laughs> I've been watching Stranger Things over again, sorry. Ooh, this is adorable. Okay, yeah, let's do that. With little slippers, little 
little slides. Sure. Okay, and then cold weather. Which one? Which one? Okay. Pink little button up with these white pants from Growing Together, I believe. And then you can have... Oh yeah, those shoes. Definitely those. Okay, adorable. She's so cute. So this is Janelle, y'all. Her is her everyday. Here's her formal wear. Her athletic. Sleep. Party. Swim. Hot weather. And cold weather. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. So now that Janelle is a child, I can add her to the club that Eros has created and um, yeah, they can all start hanging out and doing doing kid things. I've never gone to the pier uh, with a child before. I usually just go with um, with teens, at least if, if I have, I don't remember. But yeah, Eros is feeling really, really sad about, are you harvesting? Stop, what? Um, he's feeling really bad about, about his grandma's death. Okay, let me add Janelle. Perfect. All right, we got the Losers Club. I actually <laughs> did rewatch the It movies this month or last month in October. I think the Losers Club is a perfect freaking uh, name for this club. I love it. So yeah, let's just go build um, build Eros and Janelle's relationship a bit. Poor guy. Why does he have leaves following him like that? It's weird. Oh, we also need to update um, Janelle's bed. Well, her entire room, to be honest, but I'm gonna delete that. It's freaking pointless. She can have the same bed as Eros. It's really good with energy. All right, perfect. I'll update her room a little bit later. You can literally make anything an heirloom in this game. It's kind of cool. I really want to see how this angry painting turns out. It looks very abstract. <laughs> Who's calling Janelle? The heck? Congrats on your recent birthday. Thanks. Thanks. Has anyone figured out how to turn off the freaking Reaper rewards? 16 days. Ugh. All right, it's done. It's just a bunch of scribbles. Let's put it downstairs with everything else. Where was I housing the painting? Oh, over here. Okay. All right, we're done. We got all of the... Hello? No, thank you. I don't want to do the Reaper career on this Let's Play. Doll? What? I still have to feed her even... Th what the heck? That's so weird. Okay. Uh, fair enough, dude. Fair enough. I don't even know what happened to my, my animal feeder. It just disappeared off the lot. All right. Let me... 60 eggs. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me figure out where to catch an angelfish. Okay. So it is in the Forgotten Grotto, but there's three separate spots in the Forgotten Grotto that one of them does not have angelfish and the other two do. The one that we went to is the one that does not have it. Of course. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to take Ren over there because I really want to bring Dolly back. It's nice. I wonder, can you, can you enter ghosts into a horse competition? Like ghost horses? Oh my God. We got to try that. We got to try it, but let me just go over here and do this first. Okay, so once you get to Forgotten Grotto, there is three different fish spots. That's weird. This is the one that we did, and that's the one that does not have them. Uh, there's one over here. Apparently, this one does. Okay, this is where this is one of the ones where we will probably catch one. Let's see. <gasps> Holy crap, you guys, Evangeline is having another baby with a woman this time. Congratulations, Evangeline. Oh, we got an angelfish, nice. Okay, we should keep fishing, fishing though. Maybe we can catch some more and potentially make more ambrosia. Oh my God, I totally forgot about Thanksgiving. <gasps> I'm so terrible. <laughs> it's okay. Thanksgiving isn't really like that exciting. Oops though. That's my bad. Dig for treasure. Also, when you're out and about with one of your Sims, you can click this little icon right here and have your um, Sims at home build skills. I always do that anytime I'm gone because it honestly goes up really, really fast when you're out. Oh my God, we caught a digital camera. Probably doesn't work, let's be real, but hell yeah. Okay, we caught another angelfish. That's good enough for me. We've got work in 20 minutes, so let's head home. Pretty successful, eh? I'm excited. I'm excited to bring Dolly back. But I'm also really curious to see if we can enter horse competitions with our ghost. I kind of want to give that a shot first. Let me see if we can ride her. And then if we can, we'll go to Chestnut Ridge and, and, and uh, test that theory. <laughs> Imagine a ghost horse just like winning all these medals. That'd be so funny. Let me know how your guys' Halloween was in the comments. Tell me what you dressed up as. I really like to hear about other people's costumes. Eros has lost his tooth. Let's go. Okay, so 
she's gonna go to work right now why are you free oh you're freezing to death because the i'm just gonna turn off the thermostat the weather is so unpredictable right now so there isn't really a definitive way to set the thermostat at the moment all right let's see can we mount we can <laughs> Not the blue sim on the ghost horse. This is quite the sight, isn't it? Okay. Well, I guess... Doo -doo -doo. Go for a ride. That didn't work. Dope. All right. So yeah, we can totally ride ghost dolly. I mean, we should be able to enter horse competitions like this. I don't see why not. Ooh, what was that? Okay, Eros has the blues grief type. That means she'll be sad more. And Ren has the anger one. I really, really hope that we don't get this like grief stuff when a rando dies. You know what I mean? Like some a sim that you may have relationships with, but you're not like close with at all. They just have a high relationship for some reason. Like, you know, when a rando sim dies and they're just like crying about it, it's like, dude, no. I can foresee that being kind of annoying. Anna, yeah, go for it, dude. I don't care. Anywho, I'm gonna um, go to Chestnut Ridge and I'll bring Dolly. Um, I kind of want to like train her on the little barrels and stuff that they have. We don't have enough room for that on our on our lot. So let's see. Yeah, let's go over here. All right, let's see. What can we do? Horse training. Dolly. Oh, interesting. You pay money and it takes 60 minutes. Oh my God. Worth it. So worth it, dude. So the horse goes in there and she doesn't. Oh, okay. God, can you spam it? That'd be so clutch. She's making a, herself a tie iced tea right now. They've increased their skill. Oh my God. You can spam it. Dude, that's insane. What can we buy at the little shop today? Hello, I'm in love with Judah. Uh, that song has been stuck in my head for the past like four days, guys. I need help. Mm, horse age up tree, horse riding, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no horse brosia. Look, this is a horse trainer. Man, that would be, ugh, I wish Chestnut, Chestnut Ridge, what? No, Horse Ranch came with that, that career, a horse trainer. That would be dope. Um, you good? You don't look very confident on there, I'm just saying. Uh, Dolly's feeling confident from all this training. I love that for you. It's not going up very fast though. Oh shoot, our engagement dinner starts soon. Shit. All right, well, let's go home. Are we just gonna leave Dolly here? Agility level two, okay. So it took uh, training, putting her, putting her in training three times for us to go up one level that was about $60, almost $60, maybe 50. I'm really bad. I'm, it is not my strong suit. That's why I went to art school. I'm excited for this engagement dinner. I hope it goes well. I wanted to um, fence off the rest of the house just so all the Sims aren't like running around the lot and doing all that stuff. You know what I mean? So let me, uh, let me do that first and foremost. Do -da, do -da. All right. So let's go ahead and unlock this. And then, okay, so yeah, I fenced off the door. Um, so this is like the only area that Sims can get into. I think that the only thing I'm worried about is a bathroom. Hmm, we have porter potties, right? Mm, no, we just have, we don't have porter potties in this game, like single stop porter potties. We just have one of these. That's interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna put a stall then. I know it's ugly, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Ah, come on! Aww. Rest in peace, White Llama. You didn't even get a name. That's so sad. <laughs> All right, everyone should be showing up any minute now. So you like nature enthusiasts? Okay, sure. Let's go ahead and serve assortment. Let's fill fountain with caramel. Hire a mixologist, yes. 100%. Okay, what's everyone wearing? Oh, Evangeline, why are you pantless? Oh yeah, and you're pregnant. Oh my God. What are you having? She's having twins! Huh? Holy crap. I thought twins skipped a generation, but I guess not in The Sims. That's super exciting. All right, food is served. 
Bartender on the way. Carmel is filled. Oh, let's go ahead and hire an entertainer as well. All my brothers came. Yay! Mari came. Why is everyone just chilling outside? Her voice. Welcome, everybody. And I'm. I'm uh, oh, there's a mixologist. Whoa, she's wearing a fur coat. Okay, Charlie. Love it. Very romantic of you to wear hot pink. I'm just waiting for the violinist. Is it Kayla? Oh no, I invited Kayla. Wait, is that the violinist? Why are you here? That's so weird. I don't think I invited you, but whatever. She is. How cute. You better be good. Okay. Why? Why is everyone so scared? What happened? Afraid of the dark? Come on, girl. Why is no one coming to eat? Oh, how fun. This is a beautiful <laughs> event. It's so elegant. Of course, Dolly's blocking it. Oh no, why do you have a headache? Are you good? This is my favorite brother right here. I think this is Reed. He's my favorite. Oh, look at him with his missing tooth. I'm so glad we aged her down. So worth it. That's very somber music. A caramel covered apple? No way! It don't look caramel covered. I feel cheated. Oh, there you go. Look at everyone sitting. How lovely. This really is a beautiful dinner. All right, time for a toast. Ooh, beautiful. Thank you for posing for me. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Wow, we still don't have enough chairs. I didn't realize I invited this many people. No! Ren's talking to Caleb right now. My events are working so smoothly, guys. It's weird. It's really weird. I love this so much. It's so cute. When does it end though? Does it just go on forever? We can, I guess we can end it whenever we want to. I kind of want to turn off headline effects and get like a real nice picture. Aww. How nice is that? Aww, look at her. She's cleaning up Dolly's piss. What a nice girl. All right, well, the violinist and the bartender went home, so let's go ahead and end. This was actually like really cute. Did we even announce our engagement to anyone? Oh, right, Evangeline. What did I want her to be again? Maybe she can be the officiant? Ren's the maid of honor. Eris is the ring bearer. Kick out of wedding event? No. Oh yeah, we need to ask Janelle to be the, the flower pal. Where's she at? What do you think? So freaking wholesome, I can't. All right, guys, I think we did everything that we wanted to. What are you guys doing out here? It's so dark, it's scary. All right, let's end it. That was so great. I had a great time. Bye, everybody. Thank you for coming. All right, that was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. It's probably because everything was working smoothly and I'm not used to that. Anyway, let me uh, delete this fence. So I'm thinking we don't even need to make the horse brosia anymore. We totally can because I'm sure you guys are interested in seeing it. But yeah, it looks like we can just like enter competitions as a ghost. That's pretty cool. All right, so they're just chit-chatting in here still, super cute. I, uh, I'm gonna have them go to, uh, whatchamacallit, Tartos Tartosa, what? Yeah, Tartosa, <laughs> to buy uh, the bouquet and all that stuff. Marielle is so perturbed about the ghost horse. She's not feeling it. Clean up, clean up, everybody clean up. Oh no, Ren's pissed. Ren is pissed. She's having, oh my God, cute. Uh, I'm gonna get her to just like go hibernate for a while and cool off before she pisses someone off. 
ruins her relationship with someone permanently. Um, Sarah's just over here cleaning up. It's almost 8 a.m. We can probably head to Tartosa pretty soon. Marielle's just a little bit sleepy, but I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna just cheat that so we can get it done before the next episode. I think in the next episode, I wanna have the wedding. So yeah, let's go ahead, travel to Tartosa, pick out a bouquet, pick out a cake. I think we have all of the rolls filled for the wedding as well. So that's done. Um, this venue, I don't remember who got married here. I think it might've been, was it Zoe? I'm pretty sure Zoe and Lamar got married in, in Tartosa, but I'm thinking a barn wedding for Sarah. I think that suits her. Maybe we can have the wedding and the reception at two different locations or should we just make it easy i don't know okay yeah i do remember this lot it was zoe all right well uh let's go over here to the town center pick out flowers and a cake when you do walk here together it kind of makes sense to like have them walk side by side <laughs> i kind of wish like sims would do that like walk side by side and like chat there are so many little things that I wish. I wish. Oh, Miss Todd, I'm so happy I could eat you up. I really could. You know what I'd like to do, Mr. Todd? What a dream. All right, they're just sitting here waiting for the flower shop to open. Oh my God, what's wrong? Oh, she's she's freaking out because of her mom. Oh, poor thing. She probably wishes her, her mom could be here. What is with you? It's not even dark anymore. Why are you so scared all the time? Good grief, dude. All right, she's negotiating a discount. Dude, oh my God. Buy discounted and wedding a bouquet. They both need one. Blush rose, colorful, pale blue, pink rose, pastel, pink and orange, rainbow, red, white. Mm. Let's do, let's do white get two of them and then buy flowers what flowers can we buy here oh nice we already have all of those so that's fine okay next up we need a cake wait what do you buy over here oh it's just food okay right here negotiate a discount might as well right bro you need to calm down and stop freaking everybody out it's not dark anymore wow you really negotiate a mean deal baby uh, all right buy discounted items Okay, um, beachy wedding cake, cupcake wedding cake display, floral wedding cake, heart wedding cake. Ooh, a heart wedding cake. I think that suits Sarah a lot. Round, square. Let's get a heart one. I don't think I've ever gotten that one before. Two tiered, rosy and white, rosy. Let's get the rosy one. All right, cool. I always like to get some macaroons when I come and buy a, a cake for <laughs> for a wedding. It's like, okay, our errands are done. Let's get ourselves a sweet treat now. I have no idea where Mar Marielle is. Oh, she's going to the bathroom. Fair enough. Thank you. Ooh wee. Let's go home. We got the flowers, we got the cake. And then for the venue, I'll probably just find something on the gallery off camera and show you guys in the next one. Yeah, I feel like we did a lot today. A funeral. I kind of want to, good morning, Ren. I kind of want to see about cooking that ambrosia right now. <gasps> my chickens are, all my, all my animals are dying. That's so sad. Okay, she made it. Uh, how do we make it into horse bro? Holy crap. $9,000? Yo, that's actually like, that would be a good idea for rice to riches. I know you have to max your gourmet cooking skill, but uh, that would be easy. And then, you, wow, that's insane. Okay, anyway, so we can make it into a horse bros retreat. So let's do that. I'm so curious about this. It's glowing, y'all. <laughs> Okay, that was rather anticlimactic. I will not lie. Here it is. Ambrosia infused treat that can f be fed to a ghost horse to bring it back to life. Might as well, right? Might as well. Ren has been the uh, the sim that's the most upset. Oh, <gasps> you little booger. You little booger. Sarah, where's Dolly at? All right, Ren, let's do this. Dolly, Dolly. I got something for ya. I got something very special. <gasps> Welcome back, baby! 
Oh my gosh. How exciting. Okay, how old are you? What's this? Okay, great. Uh oh, an elder. Okay. That kind of sucks. I thought maybe she would be like an adult or something, but nope, she's an elder again. Oh well, we got Dolly back regardless. That's super exciting. And Sarah's like, oh my god, look at you, all better. Discuss possibility of time travel. No, but literally though. So uh, I got a question. Since we have a new wishing well in the new pack, does that mean I get another wish? What do you guys think? Let me know. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. Holy crap, we did a lot today. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you had fun. I had loads of fun. I miss this family. It's been a minute. But yeah, in the next one, we're getting married, okay? We've got nothing else on the calendar for a while, so we're just going to be focusing on the wedding. It's going to be on Sunday, so tomorrow in, in Sim Days. Um, I'm going to be picking out their outfits off camera, picking a venue off camera. I'll show you guys first thing in the next episode. I think I will have the reception and the ceremony in on two different lots. I think it might make my game run a little bit better. But yeah, I think this wedding is going to be like pink, pink and white and red. Uh, very romantic, very like Valentine's Day, you know, just like those kind of vibes. So uh, yeah, I'm so excited. I think that the next episode is just going to be the wedding. We're not really going to do anything else because I just want to focus on it. So you have that to look forward to. I'm super excited. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. As always, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!